Hey there guys, Pajama Prepper here. In this video we're going to talk about conductive wire glue and, uh, and in another video I'll do after this, we'll do uh, solder and we're going to compare the two. Now right off the bat I'm going to tell you that I made a very big mistake by buying this product. Not because it's from Radio Shack, but because it it's really difficult to call this a glue. Well, let me find something I can put a dab of it on here. And I'm working on my desk in the bedroom, so I don't want to get it dirty. Well, even though it's kind of, you know, <laughs> past that point a little bit. But so, it's essentially, this is conductive wire glue, and it contains uh, carbon, sodium silicate, aluminum oxide, silicon dioxide, and calcium carbonate. Now it comes in a little tube like this, as most super glue would come in, and it has a red cap. Just unscrew it, and it has the tube. And inside the tube, you can see some of the wire glue. It's black. All right. <clears throat> now this stuff. My biggest complaint is that for one, the viscosity of it is very thin, and it takes forever to dry, or you know, if you want to say cure, it takes forever to cure. It's really liquidy. Put a dab there, just to show you too, if I can get it to go back down the tube. This is, you know, uh, if you were to compare it to Loctite, if Loctite, I don't even know if Loctite is conductive, but if Loctite super glue is conductive, use that stuff. Don't even go near this. Now let me get a wire or something here that I can stir it with to show you how, th how liquidy this stuff is. All right. Uh, here we go. Now this is just a regular little wire. It's tinned on the end. I cut this off a project that I took apart because the uh, <clears throat> it was broken. So I salvaged some parts from it. All right. So this is how liquidy it is. I just don't want to poke a hole in the thing. And again, this is plastic, so yeah, it's kind of going to smudge, whatever. But it doesn't really... It takes forever to dry. That was one of the main complaints of this stuff, was that it takes, uh, like, two hours for it to set. And so if you had this on any sort of angle, you know, it, it's not going to work on contacts. I mean, if you had a, uh, uh, you know, breadboard or whatever, or a circuit board, and you were going to lay it flat and just, you know, have the wire set in a hole and just using this to secure it, you know, it might work. Uh, but if you had to, like, attach this to, let's say, uh, a switch or, like, the, the tabs on the back of a fuse, panel-mounted fuse, if you watch the video I did with the... Uh, CW practice key project that I did. I tried to use this stuff with that, and it didn't work at all. I had to wipe down the the uh, contacts and everything so I wouldn't get a short when I finished it all. Uh, but it's really thin. It takes a while for it to get to where it's even close to being sticky. Even now, it's like it's like playing with muddy water. But it's toxic muddy water. <laughs> it's like muddy water from like an industrial plant. You know, you don't want to. You're gonna get sick if you touch it. Playing it, you're gonna get cancer. Well, maybe I don't know if this stuff could cause cancer, but in any case, uh, you know, it's and it's made in China. Everything's made in China. <clears throat> but what are the pros of this? I mean, it's compact. You can store it in your go box or whatever. And I mean, it's but is it a quick fix? No. Again, it takes two hours for it to set. So if you want a quick fix, just get a portable soldering iron, and that's what I'll be showing you in the next video. I bought it. It was $8 on sale at Radio Shack. I wish I bought more, but uh, again, Christmas money. Spend it on other people. Damn it. <laughs> but in any case, that's this video. So please like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. Thanks for watching, guys.